Hi, this is Tyler. In this video, we'll be looking through an overview of the course syllabus for LAI 635. So let's start by looking at the first page. And you can see, I want the first thing I want to highlight is that if you click on the header and you hit Control and then click that link, it will take you to um, the main page for this course in the syllabus. You also see that it opens on September 26th, closes. Your all work should be turned in by December 9th. Um, you can work ahead. It's self-pacing in that if you choose to work ahead, you should not get, get behind. But if you choose to work ahead, you can do that. Um, you can also, or much of the course is on Schoology. And here's the access code for that, for this particular course. Uh, you can see how you can communicate me communicate with me. Uh, I prefer email, uh, but if we need, we can do through telephone as well. Uh, but there's my email address. And office hours, I typical, typically will be online most Mondays between 7.30 and 9. And then also by appointment as well. There is our ADA statement that you can read. And the course description, this, this course is a follow-up to um, intro qualitative courses, and it, it builds on those as you are working towards doing some sort of uh, qualitative study. And it will help you do things like learn some of the methods for qualitative analysis, and then also how to do some things like um, sign up for um, institutional re review board approval for human subjects. Below the main required text here is shown, and you will need to purchase that with this particular edition. And then below are some supplementary texts that you may have from other courses. Uh, you should bring those in, please. If you have um, purchased these books or you have access to these books um, and you have knowledge about them, you should bring them into the discussions and your writing and such. This course, again, is meant to build on uh, earlier qualitative courses you've taken. Here we have some discussion. APA is the law of the land for our particular discipline. Uh, so you want to make sure you're following APA format, please. And then additional readings, uh, articles and such, or videos can be found in Schoology. And you can read about AERA standards on your own. Here we discuss a bit about uh, the CITI training certificates, the or certificate that you'll need to uh, get as part of this course. And then there's a nice document here for frequently asked questions about IRB. A bit about library resources. Here are um, course prerequisites that you should have coming in. It's expected that you will have these things coming into LAI 635. If you don't, um, then this probably is not a good course for you at this particular time. And then the learning outcomes that you will get from LAI 635, you can see here in a numbered list. And then you can see here in a grid format uh, under the um, particular competencies and assessment methods, structural methods, and so on and so forth uh, that U, UB requires. And this is what this course is about. This is what you should walk away with knowledge-wise from this course. Um, technology, we'll be using Schoology, UB Box, Google Documents. Uh, we can use web-based video conferencing that can be Zoom, um, Hangout, or Skype, and or Skype. Uh, may also be using, or we'll also be using some YouTube videos. And then the, the ways of uh, submitting uh, or getting your CITI training, those particular technology platforms as well. And for a bit more about the main technologies, UB Box, Google Docs, and Schoology, uh, go ahead and click those links if you're not already familiar with those technologies. You can get help from UBIT.
uh, keep in mind that this course is a satisfactory, unsatisfactory um, grade. And you can see, hey, these are the things that I need to do and the grade that I can get you either get satisfactory or unsatisfactory. And if you complete those to satisfactory, you will get a satisfactory in the course. Uh, keep in mind though that um, if you have submitted a particular revision three or more times, um, you may receive an unsatisfactory for that particular assignment and could receive it an unsatisfactory grade overall. There are no incomplete grades given for this. Um, you want to be able to, uh, this is a prerequisite for some other courses. Uh, the point is to get done, move on. So there are no incomplete grades. Now we're moving into um, the description of the actual requirements, the assignments. You have online postings. Uh, one thing I do want to highlight is postings should be authentic and purposeful. Uh, don't write just to write. Um, you should definitely be writing. If you have questions or you have comments on, uh, you should have comments on others and provide them with feedback. It should be authentic discussion though. Uh, don't just post in, to, to post. And requirements for that are, you can read about that. Uh, you will have to be, maintain a research journal. They're required, and this is where you're um, keeping track of your thinking and reflections, connections, questions, thoughts, so on and so forth. And this document you're learning and is a nice document for you to look back on as well. You'll be required to get your CITI uh, certificate. If you've already done this, this, is a nice chance for you to, when you, that particular assignments, when those come up, uh, you can work ahead. Uh, also, be working on UB Click and IRB. You'll be submitting research questions and purpose statement for revision and feedback. You'll be writing a project summary, problem statement, and unit M be working towards a research proposal and goes into detail about what's expected there and again APA is the law of the land now as we move down a bit more we see an overview a great overview of the units that we'll be progressing through and uh, the major uh, design, qualitative designs, uh, narrative ethnography, uh, and so on and so forth, and what units are nested under those. And then in more detail here we see those particular units, the topic or focus of those units, the design, method design, and um, the readings that you will need to do for those. And these are uh, due um, Saturday at midnight. And Note that the, the assignments you have, I have those documented separately from the actual readings. Uh, it just makes it easier to keep track uh, for you. So here we have the particular readings. So for instance, uh, Cresswell, chapters one and two. Um, you can see some articles in there which are on Schoology. So let's keep moving down. And here we can see the assignments. We have the unit here in this column. We have the dates and in the particular assignments that are due on that particular date by Saturday at midnight. You see generally we progress through um, the different qualitative research design methods in the beginning units and towards the end uh, we're doing things like um, RB approval, and you'll be doing a lot of the writing towards your proposal as well. You'll be working in units M and N quite a bit. And you can see here at the bottom, the last several weeks, you'll be working on both units M and N simultaneously. 
again, all assignments should be completed by December 9th. And at the bottom, you'll see that under uh, a breakdown of the various readings with the citations, supplemental uh, readings you could do. So here's the required readings. You can see additional supplemental readings that are pretty helpful. And that's broken down by uh, units. And here, you see at the very end, other supplemental readings that aren't listed at all. It can be quite useful as well. So this is an overview of the syllabus, and we'll get into more detail uh, as those particular assignments and units um, come throughout the semester. Thank you.